What is up everyone? Welcome back to Great A's TV and today I'm going to be talking about the mysterious disappearance and death of Malia Davis, a four-year-old girl from Houston, Texas. On April 30th, Brittany Bowens, who was Malia's mother, left town to go to Massachusetts for her father's funeral and she left Malia and her other son in the care of her fiance at the time, De'Aaron Vince. And this is also actually the last time that Malia Davis is seen alive. And she is seen in surveillance footage following De'Aaron Vince to the apartment. And she is in a pink tutu at the time. Now on May 3rd, surveillance footage again catches De'Aaron Vince leaving his apartment with a trash bag and a laundry basket. But Malia Davis is not with him. And I, if I'm remembering correctly, you, his son is with him. The, the boy is with him, but Malia Davis isn't. Now the next day, Saturday, May 4th, De'Aaron and his son arrive at a hospital in Houston, but Malia is not with them. And he claims that he was attacked and that she was taken or kidnapped. Investigators said Vince told them he was on his way to pick up Bowens at George Bush Intercontinental Airport when he pulled over at the side of the road to investigate a popping noise he thought was coming from his tire around 9 p.m. It was while he was investigating the noise that a blue Chevy pickup truck pulled up behind Vince and two or three men got out of the truck and approached Vince while his son and Malia were still in the car. Now Darian said that he was then knocked unconscious and that he later woke up in the back of the pickup truck but fell unconscious again and he was not really able to recall anything else that happened at that point except the fact that he was dropped off him and his son and that they took Malia and that he walked to the hospital. And Darian also told police that his car was stolen during that incident and that's already the first hole in the story for me. The fact that first he said that he was not unconscious and that he really didn't know anything else until he woke up and then fell unconscious again. How were you aware that your car was stolen if you were knocked out this entire time? So that first part right there already is kind of weird. So they knocked you out and they stole your car and you and the kids. Okay, yeah, sure, that's what happened. So the next day, Sunday, May 5th, a Amber Alert was issued for Malia Davis. Police also issued a press release on the information around her disappearance to sort of give the public a idea of what to look for to find her. Police are still trying to find a four-year-old girl who was last seen on Friday. Investigators say three men may have abducted her. Even more concerning, the girl recently had brain surgery and her family says she needs constant care. And the next day, people began to search the area where De'Aaron said that he had the car trouble and that he was where he was initially kidnapped. Now on May 7th, reports began to surface that Malia Davis was a victim of abuse. In August of that year, Davis and two of her siblings were taken from the house by Child Protective Services after she suffered a injury that required brain surgery. And it should also be noted that the only reason Malia was taken to the hospital is because Brenda, her grandmother, came home from work and basically forced her mother and De'Aaron to take her to the hospital. Now on May 9th, the owner of the daycare that Malia went to told reporters that she had not been there since April 26th. But what was even weirder was the fact that her brother, Vince's son, was there May the 3rd and Vince came and picked him up but Malia was not with him at the time. And that was a day before he arrived at the hospital and she was reported missing. Vince's car was also found on this day in a strip mall parking lot near Highway 6. And of course police searched the vehicle for evidence but there was still no sign of Malia. Now on Friday May 10th a spokesperson for Malia's mother told reporters that Brittany, Malia's mother, and De'Aaron Vince had broken up and he told reporters that the couple had broken up on bad terms because Brittany thought that De'Aaron was abusing Malia. She told him she was giving back his ring and that she was not going to marry him. I believe that caused him to snap in anger. There is reason to believe, based on what I know now, there's issues of him possibly molesting young Malia. So this is what puts the mother in a bad light to me. You're telling people that you broke up with this man on bad terms because you thought he was abusing your daughter. And then you also suggest 
that he was molesting your daughter, but you're okay with leaving her with him while you go out of town. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. And this is where people started to turn against her as well. Because it's, it, it, like I said, it doesn't make any sense. If you believe these things, why would you leave your daughter in his care? So I believe this was just put out into the press to demonize uh, Darian more than he was already being demonized because people already found his story suspicious as well. But this, this, I don't think this helped her in any way. It makes her look just as bad, to me at least. So the next day, De'Aaron Vince, and I'm sure I'm probably saying that name differently throughout the video, it's just I can't really, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but he was officially arrested for tampering with evidence. Investigators also revealed that blood that linked to Malia was found in the apartment, and they also found traces of decomposition in the trunk of his car, along with a laundry basket and a gas can. Now on May 20th, De'Aaron's father, Joe, actually spoke out for the first time and said that he did not believe that his son had anything to do with the disappearance of Malia. And of course, most parents are gonna come to their kid's side and say that they don't believe they did these things, but the evidence said otherwise. And he also expressed that the blame should be shifted more towards Brittany, Malia's mother, based on the claims that she made about De'Aaron at the time. I just feel they set him up some sort of way. I know he didn't do anything to her. He loves her. He's been taking care of her since she was one years old. Now, a couple days later on May 23rd, investigators officially announced that it was more likely that they were looking for a body at this point and not Malia Davis alive. The evidence shows that we believe she has been murdered. Let's bring this baby home proper burial. Without finding that body, there is a hole left out there. He also went on to say that De'Aaron Vince was not being cooperative with the police and actually accused him of lying. You could drive a big rig right through the tales this guy has been telling. I can sit here and say we're going to find her alive, but I'd be lying to you. Now a few days later on May 28th, community activist Quinnell X said he was no longer representing Brittany. And he said that because he believed that she knew what happened to Malia. He claimed Brittany's behavior was an immediate red flag to him and that the only reason that he continued to represent her was so that he could get more information from her that he thought police would not be able to get. Brittany said to me when we were riding in my car what she believed really happened to Malia. At that point, I knew what needed to be done. So I arranged to meet as quickly as I could with investigators at the highest level of this case and shared everything that we had learned and discovered. Now that Friday, Quinnell X said that he talked to Vince and that Vince told him that Malia died in an accident in the apartment and that he disposed of her body in Arkansas. He said that he pulled over in Arkansas, got out of the car, walked off the side of the road and dumped her body off the side of the road. So of course, after hearing that information, Police rushed to the Texas-Arkansas border and began to look for Malia's body in the wooded area surrounding it. And while officers were searching, they were alerted that a road cleanup crew actually found a black garbage bag with a foul odor coming from it. And the bag actually contained human remains, which were sent to be tested and identified. And once news broke out that they found human remains in a trash bag, the investigators made a statement to the public which said, do we believe that it's possibly her? Yes. But can we confirm it right now? No. Breaking now at four search crews in Arkansas find remains near a road in the now expanded search for four-year-old Malia Davis. Channel 2 has been tracking every step of the search for Malia since she was last seen four weeks ago. Now, about a week later on June 3rd, the remains that were found in the garbage bag were in fact identified to be Malia Davis and her cause of death was later classified as homicidal violence. That Sunday, hundreds in Houston wore pink, Malia's favorite color, for a memorial march in her honor. The walk, which began at 7.54 a.m., the last time Malia was seen alive, went from City Hall to downtown Houston. And on June 22nd, hundreds of people gathered in a Houston church to mourn Malia. Flowers, teddy bears, and private messages were collected before the service began. Craig, Malia's biological father, was there, and he noted that people wore pink bracelets with Malia's name on it in her honor. And Brittany Bowens, Malia's mother, released a single white dove during the burial ceremony, where Malia was laid to rest in a My Little Pony casket. A eulogy message was also displayed at the church, 
to honor Malia, and it was titled Remember Me With Love, and it was written in her voice. I enjoyed my life, and I want to thank everyone who made me laugh, smile, and love on you. The message read. And as of July 25th, a grand jury has indicted De'Aaron Vince on the charges of tampering with evidence. And the district attorney's office has said that prosecutors will not consider any additional charges until a complete autopsy is done on Malia Davis. And as of now, De'Aaron Vince is the only person that has been charged in the death of Malia Davis. Now there are a lot of people who are calling that her mother, Brittany Bowens, is charged in some way with her death as well. And for the most part, I agree with it. I just, I, I don't understand how she can say the things she said about De'Aaron, but still leave her daughter in his care. That just, I can't get around that. And I don't know if she's given a good enough reason for why she did this or not. But to me, it just, it makes no sense why she would leave her daughter in his care if any of the things she accused him of doing to Malia were real, were true. How could you leave her in his care? It just makes zero sense. When I first heard this case, I honestly believed that maybe the two of them might have done something to her and that she left town to make it seem less obvious and then he was just in charge of hiding the body. That of course isn't true because Malia was alive when her mother left to go to Massachusetts. So she didn't do anything directly to harm Malia, but you could say that she did indirectly. I don't think we'll ever get the answers to what happened to her. From what Vince said, she fell and she just didn't wake up and he got scared and he took her body somewhere in Arkansas and dumped it. And that's the end of the story. I don't think it's that simple. I, I hope it isn't that simple, but I don't think we'll get, we'll ever learn anything more unless a official trial is put forth and he is charged directly with the murder of Malia, which he has not been charged with. He's only been charged with tampering with evidence. So this case is still relatively new. It happened this year. And hopefully in the next year or so, we will get some more information on what happened to her. The fact that a four-year-old girl was killed, she seemed to be in a and she seems to not be in a good situation as far as her home life. This is kind of a case for me where the court system failed this little girl. She was initially taken from her guardians, from her mother and from her mother's fiance. But the a judge later returned her to the family and said that there wasn't really a concern. So you could say that she was failed by the justice system in a way. And I, I think that things like this will happen will continue to happen. They've been happening before and they'll continue to happen. And I, I'm not sure if there's a way to actually stop things like this from happening. But let me know what you guys think. That's that's all I have to say about this case. Let me know if you guys think that if her mother should be charged in some way in relation to her death, do you think that Dear and Vince will eventually be face a more severe charge or be charged with the murder of Malia Davis? Um, and just let me know what you guys think about this case in general. I'd love to uh, hear what you guys think. So that's all I have to say. And that is going to be the end of this video. So I will catch you guys next time. And like always, make sure you guys have a nice day, a great week, great month, great year. And I will catch you next video.